Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all my contact information, including my email and social media links, along with links to my new music in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Libra? Hermit in reverse at the foundation. Okay, so this is a very lonely energy. This is also an energy of isolation. It's somebody who repeats past mistakes, right? It's an energy of being stuck. Virgo energy. What do we have at the sacral? I'm picking up on somebody here who might have Virgo highly aspected in their chart as well. Okay, Knight of Swords at the sacral. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is um, a very fast-moving energy. It's somebody, it's like a fast talker, but it can also be uh, an energy of uh, moving, right? Moving out. Libra, there's your energy at the solar plexus. Justice. Okay, so this is all related to some sort of truth coming out. What do we have at the heart? This is something coming out about somebody who's been keeping you stuck, right? You couldn't figure out... It's so interesting that this Knight of Swords is at the sacral. So your sacral is all related to your creativity, your joy, your pleasure, things like this, okay? Um, and with this Knight of Swords there and this Hermit in Reverse at the foundation, so this has to do with your stability, some sort of truth has come to light about somebody who was keeping you energetically stuck, not allowing you to harness this sacral energy, be creative, step into your power, step into your purpose, this sort of thing, right? This person has been keeping you stuck. It's like somebody who can't get themselves out of a karmic cycle. Let's just say... It's a relationship, something like this, and these people keep going back to each other, right? But there's something about this Knight of Swords energy where there's something very forceful about them. But then we have this justice energy coming in at the solar plexus, right? So the soul, your solar plexus is all related to your confidence. It's all related to your mental balance. It's your energy, strength, things like this. Five of Cups, Cancer Energy, at the heart. This is an energy of somebody who's having a real difficult time moving on. I don't know why. It's almost like this person has some sort of... I don't know. It's like they've cast some illusion over this person to keep them stuck. This person is... Like, see how... They're not even focused on the two cups that are still behind them. They're just facing these three cups that are laying down, which is giving me the energy that this person here thinks that they can't move on. They can't do it without this other energy. But this is an energy that was being projected onto them by this Knight of Swords, this fast talker, right? But something's happened with this Justice Libra energy at the solar plexus. This truth has come out about this person, giving this other person a way out. It's almost as if this other person here who's been stuck was given this way out by some sort of higher power. But even though this truth has come to light, this person is, they're consumed by this. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to move on. It's like a, it's weird. It's, um, it's almost like I'm picking up, I'm starting to pick up like an energy of abuse here. Like the cycle of, what do they call it? The cycle of abuse. Okay, what do we have at the throat, please? Throat position, please. Two of Pentacles in reverse, right? This is uh, Two of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who can't commit. It's an energy of overwhelm. They know this person is uh, not somebody that um, can be trusted. 
at all, but for some reason they're stuck. Like this person has them stuck. Somehow, some way. I can even feel the illusion too. It's very confusing energy. This person doesn't know why they're there, but they're there. What do we have at the third eye? I wasn't expecting this energy, Libra. Although I just did the Taurus reading, I wasn't expecting that energy either. It's just a uh, whole new energy is starting to come through than, um, than we've had the past few weeks. Four of Pentacles at the third eye. This is somebody who's stuck in some sort of like uh, poverty mindset. It's, an, it's an, an energy of lack. This is how they see their outward environment. Like they need to just hold on to everything. Like it's somebody who's just gripping on too tight to somebody who This is somebody who's gripping on too tight to somebody who doesn't want them anyway. But they keep them there for control. It's a narcissist who keeps somebody so they can have narcissistic supply around at all times. What do we have at the crown? Crown chakra, please. Let's see what's going on. What messages this person's getting from the divine? Ooh. King of Pentacles at the crown. This is this illumination from the divine about this individual they're dealing with. This person they're dealing with is an emotional manipulator. This is a very abusive person. Like I said, this is a narcissist, okay? Narcissists will abuse you through emotional manipulation, right? They'll gaslight you, make you think you're crazy. That's what this person is doing to this person here. Libra, this could be somebody you know. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be you, okay? The roles could also be flipped around. Take it as it fits, but somebody needs to hear this message. I feel like this person needs help. Okay, what do we have at the foundation? Let's see what demon is keeping my Libra's root chakra blocked, please. Marchosius. Mar Marchosius. I think it's Marchosius. Nine of Wands, Sag energy. Okay, so with this Nine of Wands energy, this is an energy of isolation. This is a very paranoid energy. I feel like this is the energy that this person's trapped in. They don't know who they can trust. They can't even trust themselves anymore because they've had, so, they've been the subject of so much narcissism and gaslighting. They don't even trust themselves anymore. Their self-confidence is completely shattered. They have nothing left. Look what it says here, too. Follows all commands and answers all questions. So this is somebody here who's like a slave to this narcissist. Whew. Okay. What do we have at the... What do we have at the sacral place for my Libras? What demons keeping my Libra sacral blocked? Ten of cups, fur fur. Wow, so this is all about a broken marriage. It's all related to family trouble, stuff like this, right? Ten of cups upright is total love and support and contentment. This is the complete opposite. This is this whole reading is like ten of cups in reverse to me. This is a freaking nightmare. Creates thunder and great storms. <sighs> what do we have at the solar plexus, please? Strength, vine, right? So this is like strength in reverse. This is somebody. This is somebody who abuses their power. This is a very, um, well, this is a, an energy of self-sabotage. It's an energy of discord, right? This is the energy that this person projects onto this other individual to keep them stuck. Look at this person. 
Look at that demon there. Right? This is the person that's controlling this individual. Just a straight demon from hell. Okay. Let's switch to the Heaven and Hell Tarot. We're going to bridge the energy now. So, the Heaven and Hell Tarot is a mixture of the Occult Tarot, which are the demons, and the Angel Tarot. There's one on either side. Okay, so this is going to give us... This creates like a bridge. The energy that this person's coming from or what they should be coming from into what is in the future, okay? Okay, what do we have at the heart position for my Libras, please? From the Heaven and Hell Tarot? What's on the other side, please? So we have Lahehaya. So this is King of Pentacles from the Angel Tarot, Obedience. And then we have Furfur, which we already got here, which is this Ten of Cups in reverse, War and Strife. So it's so interesting that we got this Furfur again, right? So this is talking about the energy that this person's coming from, which is this energy of War and Strife. It's this energy of a broken marriage, right? It's just an energy of just, it's just a complete nightmare. It's the opposite of a happy family, right? And now... What this person has access to is this King of Pentacles energy, this obedience energy. But I feel that this is, this energy is made available by this person telling this story. I just got a vision of somebody who's like trapped in a house or a basement. You know how you see like those things on the news about people uh, escaping from a basement they've been trapped in for years and they've had children down there and they've never been able to go outside. It's this kind of energy that I'm just picking up on. It's so strange. And now this person goes out into the world and tells their story about this really low vibrational demonic energy that had them trapped and they step into this like King of Pentacles energy and make a whole new life from them for themselves but they use this story to catapult themselves into some sort of success, some sort of financial gain, quite possibly fame. Wow, what an interesting energy. Okay, let's go ahead and pull from the Angel Tarot and get these last three cards. So this is where this energy is going to now, okay? Or what's waiting for them. Knight of Wands at the throat. So this is, yeah, this is a very free-spirited, very creative energy that this person now has access to. And I feel like it's based off of this karmic cycle, based off of this experience. However that shows up for you. What I said before, um, that's just an example, okay? Protection prevents discovery of secret crimes, This is a very deep reading. There's so many messages coming up right now. I can't even really keep track. So I'm just trying to simplify all this for you guys. But it just comes down to somebody who um, is leaving something very, very toxic and dark behind. And moving forward, they now have this amazing story to tell. A story that can help other people. And guys, typically when we step into our purpose, when we step into our life's calling, our north node position, right? Which is our life's calling our purpose in this lifetime. A lot of us have been through these kinds of gnarly cycles. I mean, this is a really dark one, okay? Um, so not everybody's gone through something like this, but we all have different versions of things, okay, that are just as dark or just... Um, we all have different versions of things that are also dark, okay? But typically, when we're able to step into our power, we can look back and we can harness some great healing for the rest of the collective by telling our story. And that's what this person here, I feel, is being aligned to do, okay? What do we have at the third eye, please? Third eye position. The devil. Right there at the third eye, right? So this is this energy of recovery from this abusive situation, okay? And it's so interesting because it's like this person 
finally up levels and leaves this narcissistic energy behind. And see the devil here? It's like he's shuffling off and he's looking over his shoulder like, oh crap, everybody sees me for the, the slimy demon I am. I better run back to hell. And that's the thing, guys. When you spot the devil in your life, when you spot that devil in your life, they run away. The devil is a coward, right? Seduction and downfall. Communicates with the dead. Teaches the occult and magic. This is what this person is being trapped by. A devil. At the third eye. This is somebody who's going to step into their power, and when they do it, it's going to be just... It's going to be a sight to behold. That's all I can say. <sighs> Page of Wands. Propagation of light confounds the wicked and slanders, saves from enemies. This really goes along perfectly with what I'm saying, right? So this is this energy now of this person stepping into this very active creative energy based off of what they've just been through. Okay, so it's like the energy of somebody writing a book telling their story, maybe writing an album, uh, a Netflix series. I always say this sort of stuff because I like to encourage people to use their, um, to use their creativity, right? To help transmute the horrors that they've been through in their life. And we all have access to this. And typically these horrors that we've been through make it seem like we could never do something like that, right? So the biggest get back is when you step inside that energy, right? Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave this here. This was a pretty pretty crazy reading, but it's for somebody out there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Libra. Take care.